Well, how's everybody doing? I hope that you are having a great day. You know, I am late. I am about, oh my gosh, I'm like three hours behind schedule. I uh, was getting up and I was going to hit the sunrise bite. We had high tide and we have a strong outgoing tide all day. And I messed up. I stayed in bed. I got the kid ready. I just took my time, you know. I just really took my time. It was hard to get focused. And uh, and we all have those days. Like, you know, and it's Monday. So we all have those Mondays where it's like, oh my gosh, I'm not getting up. I'm not going to work today. And I had one of those moments. I really did. I was just like, man, I'm just stay laying in bed. I have some videos to edit and some footage and coverage. and got stuff to do around the house. I thought of every excuse not to get up and go to work today. Every excuse. Every excuse. And God bless my wife. She, uh, she's like, no, baby, you need to get up. You could do it. And uh, after I got the kid on the bus, I started moving slowly. And, yeah, here we are. It's 821 in the morning. And I wanted to be leaving the house like at 530. Terrible. We do have some strong winds kicking up. Kicking up some gusts is going to kick up. So, uh, and it's a little cool this morning. It's about 69 degrees. So, um, a little cool. Not bad, though, right? It's going to be a really, really good day. It's supposed to warm up a little bit, too. It's probably like in the mid 70s. But I'm going to be targeting some reds. I'm also going to go to a place where I've caught some small flounder recently. So, I'm going to really, I'm going to have a tandem, tandem on. I'm going to put some tandem gope on. And I'm really going to target and see if those flounders are a little bigger. Uh, because last time I fished here, I think they were like around 14, 15 inches. So I'm hopefully they're about 16, 17. And no, I'm not keeping fish today. I'm not even taking with me a cooler or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, hopefully I can catch some of the bigger flounders. So keep your fingers crossed. Reds, flounders. Um, I'm not going to shy away from spec. I'll take a spec too. Um, just got a new cork from Voodoo Shrimp. So I put a Voodoo... I just got a new cork from Ingrid Bates. I put a voodoo shrimp on. So I'm excited to try their new corks out. They just hit the market. So I'll leave a link in the description section for those corks. And yeah, they, they're sounding really good. I like the way they sound in the hand. So if you haven't used a cork before, I have made a video and I'll leave in the description section uh, suggested videos on, on how to fish and how to use a cork. But I'm excited. I can't wait for this. I first found out about them at the Houston Fishing Show. Now I got them in. Let's go. I'm running late. Ah, uh, let's go. Well, we are here. Water looks really, very, very, very low. Surf's a little flat. Uh, just not enough clean water in yet to fish the surf. You can see the, the fine line. 
but uh surfing was nice had north winds and it kind of blew a lot of the water out over here but like i said what it does is flattens out the surf but we are here <laughs> pretty late but uh made it got everything loaded up and gonna get to fishing 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 surprised to see as many people as uh, as they are at the landing right here a couple boats out kind of surprised to see that but there's the there's that voodoo cork i was talking about nice voodoo cork sounds good we'll take a look a little more look at it here in a minute and like i said earlier you know i have a tandem on and i might start the day with the tandem gulp the wind's already blowing pretty good and it's supposed to pick up more and more as the afternoon goes on or as the day goes on the late morning and the afternoon goes on so i might start, i'm gonna start off with a little bit of tandem gulp have a little white pearl swim mullet for the bottom water clarity is not too bad it's a little sandy which is so should be expected because like i said we did have some north winds and then i'm gonna put a new penny with a chartreuse tail on the top so that guy all situated on there come on and we have a little bit of cheddar weight so we're gonna we're gonna get to fishing get to catching hopefully now i can really see the water the water is very dirty very dirty and i was afraid of that i was afraid that the water was gonna be really dirty we had some storms come through so you give you a runoff you have the north wind strong north wind that adds the chop and that has more dirt more silt more stir stirs up more stir up to make it uh less visible and uh it's very milky very milky what's it's gonna need to be a tough bite on top of it i'm late today and we have building winds so you know i often say go out no matter what go out no matter what go out not, no matter what and if you can get out get out and that's kind of kind of what i'm experiencing today is that i am going out and getting out no matter what so i must have been in a little depot i i just touched the bottom with i touched the pad see it's deep on this side but it's not deep right here let's see if i can get this drive in there you go so that must have been a little deep hole let's see a little bit of a drain right here comes out hopefully you know a drain is also a good target area whenever you're fishing it doesn't matter if you're weight fishing or out of a boat or a kayak or, or what have you drains are always very very good places where you have outgoing or incoming tide always great places to target predator fish trout reds flounder you know a lot of reds a lot of flounder just uh feeding on the bait fish that will funnel in and out this area leaving like a marsh system or, or lower lane water so always great great spot to target fish and uh i don't want to get too close but i don't want to get close enough where i hit it you cast all in all around on the outside on the inside you know changing your angle changing your changing your cadence bouncing on the bottom straight retrieving slowly just to see if somebody is hanging around even if there's no water in their drain a lot of times they'll still be hanging around on the edge waiting for that water to start coming in and start moving again i'm gonna kind of see if we can get a flatty out of this drain all right i see some bacon dive down over here i think it's too shallow i don't see anything that looks like reds that are jumping i do see bait getting dived on over here by these live birds let me see if i can get more in the middle of this little cut over here if i can uh, make out if there's any reds in it uh, this ground is real soft i would just walk in here but i don't think 
yeah I'm not gonna be able to make it in there I don't see anything else I just see bait jumping I don't know so I can stand up and see oh. kind of got me sideways now Oh, get that out rather not go backwards might just be bait moving my kayak's dragging I'm thinking if it was reds I would see them battling around but you can look it's everything's pretty dry and bait just might got caught in this shallow part and all I see is it flashing like bait Birds are getting it though. I don't know if he gets deeper over there. Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be able to get out. Hoping that was just a little hump that I was over. Yeah, look at him. He's just dived on all that, all that bait. Sometimes you can get lucky and find the reds hitting on schools of bait like that. <laughs> Ooh, almost ate it. All right. So now the trick is to cast at it. Turn around and face the other way and cast at it and see if I can get a predator fish out of here or if this is just bait try to cast around my rod and reels a little bit just a lot of bait because as shallow as it is you would if it was like predator fish like reds you would see them you would see them kind of bellying around you'll see like half of them kind of bellying around Like something's chasing them. I mean, there's, 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 they're getting fed on. There's stuff eating them, but nothing big enough to waste any more time. You know, I've been here for about 15, 20 minutes casting, and that's, that's plenty of time to tell uh, what it is and what it isn't. So we'll let's turn back around and uh, hopefully make it back to, back to where I need to be. Kind of just sticking the paddle in the ground and kind of pulling myself getting mud everywhere <laughs> oh i'm gonna look like pig pen today that's for sure it's all good it's all good i might be able to walk it walk over this hump a little bit if I can uh, yeah I got it if I don't sink too bad in this soft mud oh I'm sinking oh 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 gotta move fast gotta move fast soft mud gotta move fast oh 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 too soft too soft too soft man down man down ah! It got too soft on me. Ah, 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 get up. Get up. <laughs> ah, got too soft the closer I got out. But we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. Ah, ah. That was funny. Inch by inch, inch by inch. Come on, we almost got it. We almost got it. Come on, come on, little by little. Inch by inch. <laughs> it's 
one I wish I would have went on that diet already so I could be more buoyant. <sighs> Come on! Go! Go, 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 go! Get out of this shallow crap! Yeah! Ah! 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 That's why it pays to pull your drive. Woo! We made it. <laughs> ah. Here's a new boot of cork. It sounds great. Listen to that guy. Nice beads on it. Just a great design. Sounds great. I have a little long leader line on it. Probably a little too long for the depth that I'm fishing, but uh, we're going to give it a shot. We're going to give it a shot anyway. First time that has touched the water. Got a voodoo shrimp on it. Oh yeah, that's a nice cork pop. You know, you you we have the water visibility that is not in our favor. Typically, it's pretty clean in this in this bayou. So when you have that visibility change like that, it can really choke a bite out. And what I'm hoping is that with this cork, it will draw the fish in are like ringing a dinner bell with the cork i'm gonna draw the fish in and see if we can get a redfish to uh come and investigate and bite that very realistic voodoo shrimp i have a big one on too so it can really stand out in this dirty water you know one one thing you want to keep in mind when you are kayak fishing is that the noise and the sound of the kayak can really scare fish off. A lot of the guys that target big trophy trout will tend to catch them while they're weight fishing. Now just to prove this point, you can just hear the kayak, the slap of the waves on the kayak here as I'm moving through the area. And you kind of look over here at the bank and you can see the bait fish that I'm scaring. You can see there probably even possibly some, there's a fish right there. Probably maybe even possibly some predator fish, another one. And again, that is just, I'm like maybe 20 feet from the shoreline. So I'm probably about 15 feet from them, if not a little further than that. And just the slapping of the waves on the kayak and, and the, the hollowness of the hull, there's more, is that a lot of times when you're moving through the water, you will scare the fish before you see them. I see them popping over here too. And a lot of this is bait. It's a lot of mullet in here today. But even if it's, uh, you know, trout or reds or, or any other fish that you're targeting, you can easily scare them with the sound of your kayak. So just keep that in mind as the months get warmer and the waters get warmer. You know, maybe if you have some firm footing, maybe it'd be a good idea to get out. There's another one to get out of your kayak and do a little weight fishing here look some oysters right here there should be some bait that's along and close to these oysters so i'll get a little closer to them and see if uh see if we can scare any fish yeah there they go right there see see there's another one right there right behind us so yeah just something to keep in mind when you are more and more and more when you are in your kayak and all that slapping you can really scare scare the fish so sometimes if you see reds like bellying down or you bell, bellying around or you see them like exploding if you can get a long cast on them instead of getting right up on them with your kayak it's gonna be better for you but even if you can possibly get out of your kayak now you gotta watch out for rattlesnakes and snakes and and soft mud and all that but if it's a situation where you know you have firm footing and you're relatively safe or you're safe then uh yeah i would definitely get out of the kayak and, and fish um i used to do a, quite a lot when i first started kayak fishing I used to do a lot of weight fishing and we used to tear those i'm scaring fish all around me we used to squeeze to tear those trout and reds up see just the sound of my kayak just moving through the area everybody's running so keep that in mind in case you are new to kayak fishing hey don't scare them catch them <laughs> time calls for it and you got to push back as far as you can to really find where they're at and if you can find them in big schools um i'm possibly going to put this guy on just because it's real dark water but it's not what i'm looking for i'm looking for a spoon i want to put a spoon on a smaller profile spoon and see if i can see if i can entice one to bite that 
maybe it was feeding on some of that small little shad that we saw this morning haven't seen any shad in a while uh, I don't know where they go they kind of maybe they dive down a little deeper I'm not too sure but let's see if I could find something a spoon in this other box I have back here uh, I, I, I recently switched it took a lot of my spoons out because I was heading to the jetty so I took a lot of my stuff and, and put it like in a little jetty tackle box but uh, I don't have a small spoon kind of have a bigger spoon way bigger than what I want to be throwing but I think I'm gonna tie this guy on um, typically not the not the style of spoon I use but I want to go with that guy and uh, yeah we'll see what's up man we'll see what's up we'll see if we can get on him you know just gotta be casting and casting and casting you gotta stay with it you can't get frustrated you can't give up you gotta just constantly be casting I hate taking this this voodoo shed off but um it's either that or the cork and i don't want to take the cork off either so we're going to take off this this voodoo shad and kind of give this this spoon a, a lot of work this spoon's going to get a good workout i think now yeah so we're going to tie a simple loop knot i have a chatter weight on this same rig so that's that's going to come in handy as far as uh pairing up with a little bit of sound so the water is a little dirty for a spoon and I realize that but uh, the sun is bright overhead so I'm hoping that there's enough penetration and the sun's bright enough that the spoons are really gonna stand out in this darker water and I don't know I mean we'll see you know like I said you gotta you gotta be flexible you gotta and I haven't thrown a, a spoon of this shape in a long time typically I'll throw like cast master or even a crocodile spoon for the surf but um yeah i think i think the spoon might work it might be visible enough to uh to salvage what we can of this day because haven't landed one fish yet haven't landed one fish and i've been on the water of course i got a late start but uh yeah i've been on the water for about six hours now and not one fish in six hours <laughs> <sighs> can kind of make you go a little kooky, you know? Dang it. Oyster. It is somebody. <laughs> oh my goodness. A little pup drum. Uh, I got the skunk out the boat. That's hilarious. I got the skunk out the boat and uh, I had a little pup drum. I was hung up and then right when I popped it off, he hit it and took off running with it. Uh, little guy he's gonna be undersized but goodness gracious i caught a fish today <laughs> i can't believe it i caught a fish today i'm so happy to see you buddy i'm gonna let you go little pup drum and uh i was hung up on the oyster like i said and i popped it off and there's the wind the wind has completely totally shift and i am in landmines nothing but oysters around here and a ton of mullet oh my gosh there is so much mullet going on and i put on this spoon just so i could see if i could get something with the flash of it just kind of and i cut really cut that crap out of my net just so i can see if i can uh, just mimic the bite a little bit and it's starting to grab on all this grass and oyster on the bottom and uh my rudder is getting stuck on all the oyster my drive is banging on all the oyster so uh i probably foul hooked that guy <laughs> <laughs> he might not have even been trying to bite my uh, my lure. I probably just got him by accident. But you know what? I will take it. I will take it as a as a dub. I will take it as a win. We're not done though. We're not done though. So let me put my thing back down if I can. Is it already down? I can't tell. I can't tell anymore. This is this is a cuckoo 
cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs kind of day, but I'm really just exploring at this point. You know, I just want to see if, you know, what, what, haven't been back here in, in this, some of this marsh system in like a very long time. So I just wanted just to, just to push back and just to go and kind of just see what I could find and, and look at some of these patches of reef and, and kind of see what, what the reefs of the oysters have been doing and, and, uh, and yeah, just see what a lot of this has been going on back here. Like I said, it's been a very long time since I've been back here. And just wanted to keep pushing, see if I ran into, if I ran into any real predator fish. If I ran into in any schools of reds, and I'm not seeing any reds. I'm not really seeing much of anything. Just a ton, a ton of bait. Bait, bait, bait. You know, that's... That's all I'm seeing, and that's all that seems like this seems to be out here. I know.